that you've got a T-Rex. Uh -huh. Say again. <laughs> we have a T-Rex. Uh. Put, your, put your head between your knees. <laughs> Dr. Grant. My dear Dr. Zach. Welcome. What's up, guys? Gator Dave here. Just got this in the mail. This is the Dracodile from Privateer Press. Super excited to, to get this open and take a closer look at it. All right, let's do okay, it. Okay, guys, so inside of the shipping box was uh, another box. Actually, this box. This is the um, the Black Anchor Industries box. You can kind of see it. It's kind of faint, like in this like raised gloss. And that's on uh, like some of the edges there. And this, this box is about the size of like your average, uh, I guess, colossal or gargantuan box. Uh, I think this is about the same size as like the battle engine box that the vault came in. So um, that that's what's going on with that. So we're going to go ahead and open this guy up and, and check out what's inside. I do know that there were some errors I saw on Facebook. Some guy posted that he got like two left legs instead of like a left and a right or something like that. So i um, really hoping, <laughs> really hoping that that doesn't happen. So uh, we're going to go ahead and crack this open and pray to the Gator God that uh, all the pieces are correct and everything's good. Um, so, all right, without further ado, I'm going to go ahead and open this bad boy. Up. Okay, so uh, also side note real quick, uh, I forgot to mention, if anyone was wondering about like the pre-order t-shirts, if you pre-ordered this guy, you're supposed to get a Black Anchor Industries t-shirt. Um, that's kind of what was holding up the shipment on these guys initially, because they were supposed to ship on the 15th. So, um, so as far as the t-shirts go, there was some kind of problem with the with manufacturing them or something like that. And those are going to be shipping separately in a separate package. So if you get this guy without the t-shirt, don't freak out. It is going to be coming, but it's just going to be coming a little later because they wanted to make sure all the um, priority shippers got their Dracodiles by Christmas. So and, and it totally is. It totally is before Christmas. This, this came last night, which I guess was um, the 22nd. So today's the 23rd, and I woke up to find it. So that's great. So all right. All right. So we're going to take a look at this closer look. Hold on one sec. Okay, so first off, um, we have our, of course, our 120 millimeter size base, which is like stuck. Okay, so I got that. Um, I did order a um, 125 or 120 size millimeter base from Secret Weapon Miniature, the deep base version, um, to do this guy up with some deep water effects. But uh, it's cool to have the extra. And then uh, there's like. The standard privateer press blister and that has like all our smaller pieces so we'll go ahead and take a look at that and it looks like everything's cool in here i'm looking and i don't see any mishaps looks like we got left arm right arm uh left foot right foot so and then the jaws seem seem normal all right so we're gonna go ahead and take a look at the left claw so this is what we have here this is intense look at those claws and you can see just like where this thing's going to need to be cleaned up. Like there's a there's a piece of excess plastic right there. And then uh, around like the joint, you're going to have to clean that up before you plug that in. But uh, not bad. I mean the scales and everything like that are really defined. Really cool, really nasty. Those claws, he's got like uh, on his elbow, there's like a spike looking really sick. Alright, uh, next claw. Very nice. There is going to need to be some cleanup though, like I could see just this excess plastic right here. These chunks are going to need to be clipped off again on the joint. It's going to have to be uh, cleaned up before it could fit into the plug. But really nice scales, really nice spikes. Those claws are epic. And, and also, too, just so you can get a, like a size comparison of these arms, here's like a bottle of uh, Kato Red Base. But, uh, yeah, I mean, like, that's pretty big. <laughs> that's bigger than a bottle of uh, Kato Red Base, so it's pretty massive. Take a look at the legs here. So this will be, uh, be the back leg. So this will be like your guys' left. And this is this is nice. This is really nice. And uh, yeah, some excess plastic there to clean. Got some really great wrinkles in the leg there. And it's like really tensed up, so you could really see like the muscle definition. It looks really naturalistic. 
So, I, I mean, hats off to whoever did the sculpt on this. This this just looks fantastic. Like, the flexing of the muscles there make this figure really come to life. And the defined scales over the over the leg really, really make it pop. And I'll say even with, like, this, this underfoot sculpting, this is great to make, uh, like, footprints in the mud. Just, just a little, just a little tip there for if, you, if you're going to be basing this guy up um, near like a, you know water or whatever water effects, definitely have uh, some footprints with some water in them. I think that'd be really sick. Okay, last foot. Again, just just a great sculpt. This foot is more like pushing outwards, moving him forward. But I mean, look at those claws. Oh my goodness. Yeah, those, those are intense. Privateer Press, 17. Awesome. Gonna have to clean that up. Got a nasty mold line along the back of the leg that's gonna have to be cleaned up. Not too terrible, but... Can't really see any mold lines over here. And then, of course, yeah, just like where the plastic kind of comes to a point needs to be clipped off but not bad though nothing too crazy I'm not seeing any any plastic that's just like oh my god that's gonna be terrible yet okay um all right so here's here's his jaws it's in two pieces on this plastic like sprue so you can see where it's connected there you're gonna have to clip it and then clean it up a little bit and uh, also too it looks like there's just some loose plastic around the teeth at least on my bottom jaw then I'm gonna have to go in and uh, and clean up as well. But uh, yeah, those teeth are intense. Really well done. There's the bottom jaw, and then the top headpiece. God, look at that! Look at that eye! Look at those eyes! And there is, uh, unfortunately, there is like a mold line that runs across right there on the face. So that's going to have to be cleaned very carefully with our hobby knife. Just go through and kind of clean that guy up. He has it, he also has it, it's kind of hard to see with the sprue, but he also has it on that side too, running along that way. So just, just take care when you clean, when you clean that up, you don't want to, you don't want to mess it up. It's going to be like right there in the face where the eye's going to be drawn to, but uh, amazing, amazing. I love this. I love this, love this, love this. Yeah, the tongue, the texture on the tongue, uh, it's beautiful. Great job, Privateer Press, that is intense. All right, so let's take a look at the body and the tail. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness gracious. All right, look at this, oh my God. Jesus, Jesus, look at this, oh my goodness. This is intense. This is intense. This is massive. This is like a massive chunk. This is like bigger than a wrestler. This is massive. Like, like I mean, just, just, just this mid-body part here, like the mass of it, it, it like dwarfs a, a wrestler. This is intense. Um, all right, right off the bat, first impressions though, like I noticed this mold line going up the, the center. You guys see that? Um, just take care on that. And look at this like excess plastic piece right here. That's pretty big. So you're going to really have to go to work to, to hack that off. Uh, shouldn't be too bad though. Also on the neck, where you're going to plug in the head, there is some excess plastic that needs to be cut off there as well. Oh my god though, oh, look at all these spikes. Look at that, oh. And then it has like this standard kind of gator back that you see like the armor plates on like all the gator men, but then like around it are just these jutting like draconic spikes. Oh. So good, so good. Mm. Yeah, that's intense. That's gorgeous. All right, so yeah, just take note of, uh, just take note of like, you know, where you're gonna need to clean up and all that. It, it's not terrible. Like the mold line right here runs up the back, but it, it gets cut, kind of like cut off and goes underneath and gets hidden. So, but uh, just for like those last two plates, you're gonna need to clean those as well. Uh, but o overall, not not terrible. This chunk kind of worries me. That that's gonna really gonna have to go to work on that one. But other than that, uh, this this line up the chest shouldn't be too bad. But that's a big ass line. But it's not too terrible. So you're good with your hobby knife. Just 
get in there and clean it up. Not too bad. It could be it could be worse. It could be worse. Alright, and last but not least, the tail. I know a lot of people have been saying uh, the tail bothers them or they don't like the tail. But dude, this tail's legit. Oh god. Look at that. Yeah, that's crazy. Look at that giant like fin sail thing. It's like so legit. Makes it like gives it really like a detraconic like element to it to make it more than just kind of like a massive uh, gator. Look at all those spikes. God, this tail is intense. That is intense. So yeah, you're gonna need to clip that extra piece off right there, and then there's a mold line that runs up that last fin piece, fin or, or plate, whatever you wanna call it. Um, so that needs to be cleaned off. If you look at where it plugs in, also like um, another massive chunk of like plastic. So that's gonna have to be cut off. But yeah, not bad. Okay, so guys, that's everything. Um, that's the that's the unboxing. I'm actually gonna do the review in a part two because this video is actually getting kind of long. So. Um, just, just stay tuned. I'm going to go ahead and put this guy together, clean him up, and then um, post a review video. We're going to have them all together and just take a closer look at them. I have some basing materials that I wanted to share with you guys for when I base this guy up. Uh, maybe give you guys some uh, some ideas and inspiration on what you want to do with your Dracodile. All right, guys. Thanks for watching. I appreciate it. I'll catch you in the next video. Gator Dave out.